हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज माई फर्स्ट वॉइस ओवर वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव सो न्यू हाउ टू मेक ए वॉइस असिस्टेंट यूजिंग गूगल वॉइस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सो यू द सेकेंड मेथड फॉर मेकिंग ए वॉइस असिस्टेंट विदाउट इन यूज ऑफ गूगल वॉइस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंस्टॉल माई वॉइस असिस्टेंट प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फॉर डाउनलोड लिंक सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो As you can see, 97.6 percent viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe. Now follow my steps. Uh, here, give the application name and also you able to add your own logo here. Uh, now give the project name here. I am giving my project name as Assistant. You can give anything in its place. Now rename the package name. I rename package name to By Itt. You can also able to change anything in its place. remember one thing it's very easy you can make it without any problem if you correctly follow my steps as you can see the layout of the upload of this application in the right left side and how all the components like image view text view and web view are present in this application Now I am going to uh, rearrange all the components uh, in the same way. Now I am going to attach uh, all the image components uh, which I edited. As you can see, the edited image files. This white for background resource. I forgot to add one thing in this layout that is the text view too. So let's add this. As you can see, our layout uh, is ready now. Let's uh, set some images uh, on the layout. Now let's set the image of the voice assistant logo and the speak button logo. Now I am using the white image for background resource. You must have seen on my voice assistant after clicking on the speak button a sound web source. For achieve this sound GIF, I use the iSketch app for attachment of this sound web to my project. Now select your project. After that, click the Add GIF image. Then uh, select your GIF image from gallery. After that, uh, copy the code here. Now open the Sketchware again. Uh, here, uh, try to understand that when we click the Speak button, the sound wave will show. So we write the code in Speak button. Now declare a variable called uh, as a string variable called URL. After that, uh, go to the view component. Then first choose the component as image view. Here, uh, as you can see, here the image view component. Then after that, uh, choose the image view to. Because when we click the speak button, the image at the image view to shows the sound wave. 
now place the url uh, on the image view after that go to operator and here paste your copied url copied code now i'm going to add another white gif because uh, you may have noticed that uh, after a few seconds the uh, sound wave automatically disappears uh, this is because the white color gif appears on it uh, that's why you think sound wave has disappeared to achieve this repeat the same steps as before now i'm uh, adding the time component for give some time to sound wave jf means uh, after that time uh, the white the jf shows at the place of the sound jf now i'm going to add the white gif inside the time component now when you click the start button after the 6 second white gif shows at the place of sound gif uh, now add the listening text on the text view too you may have noticed that after the clicking of start button a listening text shows on the top of the start button uh, now let this uh, now add this listening text which is shows on the text view too now i am going to add the speech to text component uh, because uh, this component receive the user command so means when the user click the speak button then speech to text component start receiving the user commands that's why i am using the speak to text component here now go to the component step uh, then select the the on speech result this is the most important part uh, here try to understand that when the user click the speak button uh, the speech to text component start receive the user command after that uh, those commands are stored in a result variable as you can see here the pink color result purple color result variable here the user commands are stored now i'm going to add some action means uh, if my given command matches with the result variable stored commands uh, which is a user command uh, then it performs some actions so which is given by me uh, now please you watch it carefully you will know what i want to tell you after some time i will explain to you what all this thing is happening uh, so right now only follow my steps this is a camera component which i used for access the camera of a device I am using this code for open the music player app through my voice command. Here I am using the intent component for achieve the calling function through voice command. now i am using the finish activity it helps to exit the app now i am adding the text view component for showing the user commands on the text view one because it helps the user to know what he said uh, then after uh, 
uh, I using the time component for giving some time direction to text view one means after the three second uh, user given commands automatically disappears in text view one. Now let me tell you how it works. Uh, the first user command are stored in a result variable then after those command which is stored in a result variable check one by one with the help of if else conditional statement when the stored command matches with my given text uh, then after some specific action happens but here is the big problem that uh, if the user not give the same command as i given in my text uh, then no result will show to user I tried lot to solve this, uh, finally I have created a code. The solution is when the user command uh, not matches with my given text, uh, then those commands are searched in a web page uh, automatically and uh, it gives the result through the web. So now as you can see here, how does it work? Here I am using the combination of not and content means uh, when the user commands not matches with my given text uh, then it searches uh, search those commands in web page uh, through this code so that's why I added the web view one in my assistant. Now let's add the code for on speech error. Now I'm using the text to speech component which is the opposite of the speech to text component means uh, uh, it convert the text value into the speech. Now let's test our assistant how it performs. 